What kind of lattes do you drink? I uh, just a regular. It's it's a it's no foam, non fat, three mm-hmm. equals. So it is. It's a coffee latte. Yeah, it's a coffee latte. Okay. I don't I don't like all the flavors and stuff like that. Okay. It's too much sugar and it's and I sure, don't like it. Sure. Yeah. So and it's just a basic, straightforward latte, right? So all I right. thought, you know, I'm going to drive through on my way home and I'm going to go get me one. Well, I dumped it all over the front seat oh, of my car. You did not. I did. Oh. I'm like, man. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, coffee everywhere. So my car smells lovely right now. Oh, man. And by lovely, I mean like old latte. Yeah. Which hangs around, I, it turns out, as much as old Whataburger. Oh. Uh, well, you should go get a Whataburger then. <laughs> I know, right? Because that'll overpower <laughs> exactly. the smell of your coffee. I'm thinking I might have to because, wow, I'm just, like, you know. Just leave the bag there overnight. <laughs> Well, and and that way you can smell like fat guy underarm instead. <laughs> oh, gross! Jeez, <laughs> Michael. Because that's what leftover bags of Whataburger Stop smell like in your it. car. It smells oh. like fat guy underarm. That is so gross. No, for real. Try uh, it. Oh, no. Yeah. I do not want to smell fat guy underarm. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already well aware of what old Whataburger smells like. Oh, but doesn't it, though? I don't know. Doesn't I've it? never smelled a fat guy's never? underarm. No. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, give me 90 <laughs> minutes no. and I'll let you. Oh. Give me 90 Michael, minutes. Oh, God. You're disgusting. You know how uh, l- later in the morning it c- gets hot and humid in here? I know. Yeah. Then after that, I'll let you. That <laughs> way you can't say I have never again. God, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I I appreciate the offer. Uh huh. I'm gonna have to pass. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You haven't lived. <laughs> gross. Don't judge until you know what you know. <laughs> until you know. You are so gross. I swear. It Sometimes... does though. It does. Okay. Let me tell you, it does. Okay. Well, just I'm gonna like, I'm like... gonna go with that, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna believe you when you say that you know um, puppies. Dog paws, paws. smell like any, Doritos. Any dog paws. And it's not Doritos, it's Fritos. Fritos, rather. I'm yeah. sorry, Fritos. Dog that's right. paws smell like Fritos. <sighs> Leftover water burger bags in your car smell like fat guy underarm. Oh, Lord. For real. You know, I'm really sensitive to smells. Yeah. And so just the thought of those things uh-huh. make me want to go, <laughs> <laughs> No, it's true. It's true. It's like, you know, when people say, oh, man, that's skunk weed. Yeah. Because it smells like skunk spray. Right, right. Yeah. It's like that. Okay. It's like that. Except Lot of burger you know. bags, fat guy underarm. Gross. Dog paws, Fritos. Fritos. And Fritos. now you know. Yuck. Oh, where is that? Where is that? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. And now you know. And now you know. Mike and Trisha <laughs> on 93.1 KISS FM. There's only one way to feel like a total boss. Switch your family to the best deal in America. Total Wireless. Hook. It's 75 degrees. Nicole Gomez will have your complete forecast after the news. But first, let's take a look at your KISS commute with Charlie One. Trisha, on the closure this morning, first of all, there aren't any accidents right now on the closure. There was a closure that went on all night. That was I-10 East at Sunland Park. They opened that up. Good to go there. No problems on the freeway at the moment. Going on in the valley, though, this closure continues. Alameda, just know that Alameda, both directions, between uh, Inglewood and Carnes, that is down to one thing in each direction on Alameda. But at the moment, there aren't any accidents. And ADT protected when that is most for over 140 years. ADT is more than a sign in your yard. It's 24-7 monitoring for your peace of mind. Visit ADT.com for license information and terms and conditions. That's look at your kids' community, Charlie One. If you're like a lot of El Pasoans and don't pay your t- your warrants, the whole city's going to find out about them this weekend. On Sunday, the El Paso Times will print the names and addresses of 5,600 w- people who have active warrants. Those warrants are for things like misdemeanors to felonies for crimes like driving while intoxicated, family violence, theft, burglaries, and robberies. And Sheriff Weil says that it's important that people be held accountable for their behavior here in our county. The Times does the list in conjunction with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office and the District Attorney's Office. Now, if you want to pay your fines, you can either go to the satellite booking office in the county courthouse downtown. It's on the lower level of the courthouse in room 110, or you can call them at 546-2121 and make payment arrangements. And Senator John McCain's best friend in the Senate says the brain cancer diagnosis was a shock, but that the 80-year-old lawmaker is focused on now getting better. Senator Lindsey Graham said the woe is me thing isn't part of McCain's DNA, but Graham said Thursday he expects McCain to return to the Capitol only when he's fit to fight. McCain, of course, has survived several near-death experiences, including being shot down over Vietnam in 1967 and surviving five and a half years as a prisoner of war. 
Graham says one thing John has never been afraid of is death. Graham says he spoke to McCain on Wednesday evening, and then he told him he's recovering at his home in Arizona. It's 6.03. It is 75 degrees. Let's take a look at your KISS weather forecast with ABC7 Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez. Good morning. A 30% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms remains in the forecast. This afternoon will be under partly cloudy skies with temperatures close to 90 degrees. Tonight will drop down to the 70s with a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms. And the rain chances will continue through the weekend and the start of the work week. I'm ABC7 Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez on 93.1 KISS FM. It's 604. That's your KISS News Update brought to you by GECU. At GECU, they've helped four generations of members with everything from savings to checking accounts to personal and auto loans, credit cards, financial financial education, and much more. Join their family today. It's easy. Details at GECU.com. I'm Patricia Martinez for 93.1 KISS FM. Previously. Previously. On Mike and Tricia Mornings. Uh, okay, people, Listen. Remember how yesterday I was so excited about tonight's David Blaine show? Oh, yeah. The Illusionist, Uh The Magician. I understand it's going to be a great show. Oh, my gosh. You should hear what his latest trick is. Oh, cool. Here, roll it again. For years, he's fascinated us with his amazing magic tricks. He's levitated off tables, was buried alive for seven days, spent 61 hours encased in ice, and lived underwater for one week. Now, American illusionist David Blaine is preparing for his most amazing performance ever. David Blaine pulls his head (laughs) out of his ass. Here's what critics are saying of David Blaine's latest illusion. Newsweek says, wow, David Blaine pulls his head out of his ass. Whoa. At the Plaza Theater tonight only. <laughs> More from Mike and Trisha next. Sounds like fun on today's Trisha. all the time because it wakes me up. I listen to every morning before I go to school on today's best mix, ninety three point one Kiss FM. And now it's time for three, three, three things you need to know this morning. One, two, three. Okay, so first thing you need to know is that John Mayer played in Albuquerque a couple of days ago, mm-hmm. and there was an El Paso kid that was there. He's a high school kid. And his yearbook quote mm-hmm. is a John Mayer lyric. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I'm jelly because I, I love me the John Mayer. I know, I know. And secondly, he's no longer in high school. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that was his yearbook. Oh, okay. But he's oh, not a high right. school kid. Okay. So anyway, so he took his yearbook and he was like, hey, John Mayer, will you sign my yearbook? And he did. And John Mayer tweeted about it. <laughs> yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. Not only did he did he sign a yearbook, he st- Stop the song right? to sign the yearbook. It was great. It was great. If you haven't seen the video, it's super cute. And um, so, yeah, so everybody's like, oh, my God, I'm going to dig out my yearbook yeah. and, you know, <laughs> see if somebody will sign it, even if there's not a quote in there. <laughs> because apparently John Mayer didn't know that there was a quote. No, no. He, he, he just was like, hey, somebody asked me to sign their yearbook. Okay. Yeah, yeah because... Uh, because he tweeted that, well, you know, he was in the middle of a concert. Right, right. He didn't have time busy. to read. Yeah. It wasn't until after uh, Luis, that's his name, mm-hmm. until he tweeted a thank you and a picture of the yearbook. Right, right. John read the tweet. Yeah. And he was like, oh, now I get it. <laughs> that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, he's like, okay, I'll sign your yearbook. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That so, is awesome. Yeah, I think it's super cool. Okay, so um, OJ, OJ Simpson, his release, we'll talk about that in the news, but uh-huh. people are... Shading the local media hard because there are polls all over the pa- place on their Facebook page and the social media mm-hmm. about whether or not OJ should have been released. Mm-hmm. And it's like, why would you even put up a stupid poll like that? Yeah, is that what they're saying? Well, yeah, people are just like, <laughs> oh my God, like this matters. Uh-huh. You know, especially since he's already been, it's already been decided. Right. At least do it the day before. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but no, you've we already know the outcome. You know, it's like, it's like, you know, not knowing what happened at the end of Titanic. Yeah. And then, you <laughs> don't know. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't spoil it for okay, me. Okay, sorry. And don't tell me what happened with OJ either. I'm going to wait till your newscast. Okay, okay. okay. So, yeah, so. 
yeah, people are people are giving uh, the the local media a hard time about about stupid polls. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I mean, yeah. come on, Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel, on his late show last night, he was he was giving uh, he was giving just you know the news in general uh-huh. uh, a hard time because it seems like everyone was on the same vibe and they were all saying the same thing. <laughs> Here, take a listen to the montage. Well, the juice is almost loose. The juice will be set to loose. The juice will soon be on the loose. The juice will be loose. The juice will be loose. The juice is 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 loose. <laughs> now, one of those sounded like Duke Keith. I think it's the second to the last one. Did it? Yes. I don't think it was. It's these, so, these were it, all TV anchors. Yeah, no, I know. But the second to the last one, when we when we go into commercial, I want you to okay. listen to it again. Because I was kind of falling asleep to this last night. Uh-huh. And I heard it and I'm going, why do they have Duke Keith's on there? <laughs> That's weird. And then the last thing is people are pre-dragging David Blaine. I don't know if you know that dragging is what kids call, you know, giving people a hard time nowadays. No. That's like the cool, that's what the cool kids say. Dragging, they dragging. say. Dragging, yes. So people are pre-dragging David Blaine because they're saying that they're wondering if he's going to take a page out of Journey's book mm-hmm. and be here late. Mm. I already told you yesterday, he will. He will. But don't be fooled, he's not. <laughs> it's his latest magic act. <laughs> He's on stage, but he's not. That's right. That's right. And you don't know. Because <laughs> he's just that good. That's the beauty <laughs> of David Blaine's magic. <laughs> so, yeah, a and lot then of people. He shows up in an ice cube. That's right. That's right. <laughs> in, a, in a wall of flames. And then he's like, I was always here. <laughs> Whoa! The audience will go. That's right. That's right. <laughs> 626, Mike and Trisha mornings. Three things you need to know. Three things people are talking about today. Earnings vary based on your effort. Do you want to learn how to make... Good morning. It's 629 at KSII and KSII HD1 El Paso. I'm Trisha Martinez with your Kiss News update brought to you by the Angry Owl Grill. It's 75 degrees. Nicole Gomez will have your complete forecast after the news. But first, let's take a look at your Kiss commute with Charlie One. And Trisha, we've had, at the moment, we don't have any accidents right now. We checked I-10, pretty much uh, decent drive on I-10 right now, fast and furious. We do have a closure going on at 7 o'clock this morning, alternate north and southbound right, and left lane closures along Joe Battle between the Montana overpass and the Bob Hope overpass. No accidents at the moment. And experiencing symptoms that don't feel right, get the care you need now at Upper Valley Urgent Care. Their health care providers are ready to see you. Open seven days a week and most holidays from 8 to 9. No appointments needed. That's a look at your case commute. Charlie White. With construction on the downtown arena still on hold, the cost to build the facility continues to increase. City Rep Claudia Ordaz told News Channel 9 that construction costs are going up, labor costs are going up, and so time is of the essence. According to Ordaz, inflation has gone up 5% since voters approved the building, the $180 million multipurpose arena, and that could mean an extra $9 million in costs. Ordaz said the Fed just raised the rates for the second time this year. So just like when you go to borrow money and there's a higher interest rate, the same thing goes for government bonds. City officials previously said that they've already spent $15 million on studies and acquiring the properties in the arena's footprint. However, a spokesperson with the city was unable to unable to provide a breakdown with exact costs. Now, if critics get what they want, which is another chance to take a second vote on the proposed arena's location, that could cost an additional $144,000. That's according to the county elections administrator. Because if there's a special election, the city would have to spend about $30,000 on advertising and publishing the specifics of the issue. With or without sports, Ordaz says the arena still is a good investment. Demolition on several projects in the Union Plaza district could start as early as August 1st. City council members will be getting an update about the arena hearing in Austin during next Tuesday's meeting. And the juice will soon be loose, barring any last-minute issues. O.J. Simpson will walk out of prison a free man in about three months. The 70-year-old Simpson on Thursday uh, convinced a Nevada parole board that he deserved parole. He told them that the hotel room heist that he pulled nine years ago was an error in judgment that he'll never repeat and acknowledged repeatedly that he never should have done it in the first place. 
The hearing was broadcast on national television. Afterward, four parole commissioners voted unanimously to release him. As he was led down the hall and back to prison, the Hall of Fame athlete and former murder suspect raised his hands over his, heads in, over his head in triumph and said, quote, Oh, God, oh. It's 632. It is 75 degrees. Let's take a look at your KISS weather forecast with ABC7 Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez. Good morning. Happy Friday. 30% chance for scattered showers remains in the forecast this afternoon with a high around 89 degrees. Tonight will drop down to 72 and we'll keep those rain chances in the forecast at 30%. Looks like the rain will stick around through the weekend with heavier storms possible Sunday afternoon and throughout the evening. I'm ABC7 Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez on 93.1 KISS FM. It's 6.33. That's your KISS News Update brought to you by the Angry Owl Grill. The Angry Owl Grill introduces Fiesta Friday. Each week enjoy live mariachis from 6 to 8 and drink specials from 5 to 9. Only at the Angry Owl Grill, 47.99 North Mesa. I'm Patricia Martinez for 93.1 KISS FM. Need to be debunked? Any rumors that are not rumors, but now they're truth? Well, apparently, Usher paid out over a million dollars to settle a lawsuit with a stylist who says that he infected her with the herpes. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, they call that the gift that keeps on giving. Well, yeah, apparently, and um, perhaps maybe... She should have thought, you know, that greenish, greenish discharge that he had. Oh, stop. Maybe not a good oh, idea. that's disgusting. That's what the papers say. Oh, my that's what gosh. The, that's what the legal papers say. <laughs> that he told her that, yeah, don't worry about uh -huh. that. I've been tested negative for the virus. <laughs> don't worry about that. Oh, my gosh. I mean. Anytime something is green and is a discharge. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if he tells you not to worry about it or right. she tells you not to worry about it. Yeah. Worry about worry it. Worry about it. And then run. I was going to say, oh get my out gosh. the Clorox wipes. And when did this happen? <laughs> now, the papers go uh, go back to like 2012. Oh, But supposedly, okay. allegedly, he was diagnosed with the herpes in uh -huh. 2009 or 2010. Oh, my gosh. So he already knew about it okay. well in advance of their hookups. So, so the papers then were just starting to find out about that. Right, exactly. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you might say that Usher's past has flared up again. <laughs> Gross, dude. <laughs> I mean, ew. I know. Why would you? Now, see, I have to question this woman's, you know, uh -huh. thought process. Her judgment is uh, really, really poor. Yeah, because, come on. Yeah. I mean, a greenish discharge. Yeah, no. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Any green discharge can't be good. It can't. Uh, no, of course not. And he's like, no, no, yeah, no. it's okay. No, I've yeah. been tested. Yeah. Okay. And well, then, then why are you still leaking? And then he was like, of course I love you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Toxic sludge wow. leaking out of someone's orifices, <laughs> not no, good. never. Not good. And how much did this cost him? $1.1 million. <sighs> nice. Yep. Nice. Well, see, <laughs> that's what happens. That's what happens. When you want, when you want a girl who's, you know, yeah, and then a freak in the bed. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> It's 6.43. It's Mike and Trisha mornings. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's your Hollywood dirt. Wow. I thought because I looked at you, it looked like I you know. were pressing a button. You're looking at me like I'm the one who forgot my line. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's even sweeter than... ...going viral this morning has to do with an El Paso one who had John Mayer sign his yearbook. Right. In the middle of the concert. Yeah. Like four songs into it, John stops and, and signs uh, this guy's yearbook. Yeah, he had a sign. Yeah, he had a sign for John to please sign my yearbook. Uh -huh. And uh, the reason was that when he was in high school, he was voted most likely to play with John Mayer. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because he was a big John Mayer fan. Mm -hmm. And he plays guitar. And he used to play John Mayer songs a lot on his guitar. Yeah. That's why they gave him that honor. <laughs> you know, that w when you do that whole senior thing. Right. Right. And and I'm, I'm wondering if there's anyone listening who, uh, like... Like, what was your senior honor? Like, were you voted most likely to do this, most oh, likely to okay. do that? 
and did it come true like it did for Luis? <laughs> How about that? Yeah. He didn't exactly play with John Mayer. No, but still. But that's pretty darn close. Yeah. That's so awesome. So who listening was voted most likely to? 880-9393. Mike and Tricia mornings on 93.1 KISS FM. Good morning. It's 659 at KSII and KSII HD1 El Paso. I'm Trish Martinez with your KISS News Update brought to you by UTEP. It's 75 degrees. Nicole Gomez will have your complete forecast after the news. But first, let's take a look at your KISS commute with Charlie One. Trouble spot in the valley that we have right now, uh, Tricia. We checked back in pretty much of a decent drive still, but in the valley, that's where we have the trouble spot on Yarbrough. Mm-hmm. And this is Yarbrough just north of Alameda. We have a cement truck that spilled its load. That's about a quarter of a mile long is that spill of cement. It's about two feet deep. So you want to stay away from that one. That's uh, that's on Yarbrough, just north of Alameda, on that cement uh, a cement truck spilling its load. So stay clear of that area. Oh, this update brought to you by GECU. Right. Get the personal friendly service you've come to expect with new extended hours for your convenience. Visit your new GECU neighborhood branch today. 10,425 East of the Sol, federally insured by NCUA. That's a look at your kids' commute. Charlie one. Am I the only one who thinks maybe Charlie should describe it differently? Am I the only 11-year-old in the oh, audience? No, clearly not. No. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what you're talking about, Charlie. Mike. I know Charlie's <laughs> going. I know nothing. Work on I that description nothing. of what that cement yeah, truck I'm, is doing to the I'm, road. I'm I'm, uh, I'm innocent. <laughs> you are. But we're not. Choice of verbiage is not. <laughs> I'm innocent. All right, fine. And I guess it is just me. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He said spilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's loud. Yeah, yeah. That was me. Stop, stop. And, and I'm just laughing at you I being I was the a only doof. one. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're like a lot of El Pasoans and you don't pay tickets, the whole city's going to find out about your active warrants this weekend. And that's because on Sunday, the El Paso Times will print the names and addresses of 5,600 people who have active warrants. I don't know. I beg to differ. I think if it was like 1995, then maybe the whole city would know. No, I think that but people really like to look at this thing. Nobody reads newspapers anymore. No, so I know, but you can go online and you can check it out. You're safe. No, you're not, because <laughs> you can go online and check it out. So the warrants are for misdemeanors and felonies um, for crimes like, you know, driving while intoxicated, family violence, thefts, burglaries and robberies. And Sheriff Wiles says that it's important that people be held accountable for their behavior here in our county. The Times does do the list in conjunction with the sheriff's office and with the district attorney's office. If you want to pay your fines, you can either go to the satellite booking office in the county courthouse downtown The satellite booking office is in the lower level of the courthouse in room 110. You can also call them at 546-2121. I'll be putting this up as um, a blog in just a little bit. And a special counsel, or Mike will, because, you know, he's going to snag it. And a special counsel, Robert Mueller's Russia investigation continues. President Trump's legal team is allegedly brainstorming how to stop it. The Washington Post rather, is reporting that sources say among the strategies reportedly on the table to slow or stop Mueller's efforts, they're working up a laundry list of alleged conflicts of interest. One reportedly involves Mueller's past membership at Trump National's, uh, the Trump National Golf Club in Virginia, which is a Department of Justice technicality that could give Attorney General Jeff Sessions the go-ahead to fire Mueller. Another possible tool that Trump and company are said to be looking at is the power of the presidential pardon. Trump has reportedly told his lawyers to look into that option and find out if he can pardon aides, family members, and even himself. Wow. Trump's main attorney, Jay Sekulow, denies that's happening, but the Washington Post is going, no, we're hearing from very reputable sources that that that's what they're doing. And the Post has been right on on everything so far. On everything, yeah. I don't know what Russian spy they have. I know. <laughs> but their information Some has Russian been hacker. solid. Yeah, no, it totally has. And wow. so, yeah. Man, you talk about making all the wrong moves. You Dude. know, for somebody who keeps declaring that nothing went wrong, nothing happened, mm-hmm. they're totally innocent, all of the moves that he makes are just dumb. Totally guilty moves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and here's the other thing. Um, 
he might be able to get away with pardoning family members and aides and, and you know, people th- sure, and, like yeah. that. And that's going to look great. And that's going to look really great. But if he tries to pardon himself, which apparently, according to a lot of legal experts, is not has never been done, mm-hmm. but technically can be done ah. because of the broad powers of the presidential yeah. pardon. Yeah. Um, they said that it would almost immediately have to go to the Supreme Court. Wow. Because they would have to get a ruling on this because they don't want this kind of thing to be on the table. Yeah. It's one thing for you to say, okay, well, look, you know, everybody else who is around me, you know, I'll, I'll give them a pardon. Right. But you you give a president the power to pardon, pardon himself on stuff like that, <laughs> oh, and yeah. wow. I mean, there is no slippery slope. We're just We're just... We're on our way to, to heck in a handbasket, man. Dang, man. So, yeah. Yeah. This wow. is bad. It truly this is. This is really bad. It's been bad, bad from day one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From the minute he said, hi, I'm Donald J. Trump and I'm running for president. <laughs> I don't know, man. There was he, I liked a lot of his ideas. His execution has been horrible. Yeah. And... You know, the minute that he started, he started railing on Hillary and her past. Right. Oh, uh, you almost felt that karma train start up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's seven oh five. It is seventy five degrees. Let's take a look at your Kiss weather forecast with ABC Seven Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez. Happy Friday. Good morning, everyone. A 30% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms remains in the forecast this afternoon. The night will drop down to the 70s and keep that umbrella handy. A 30% chance for showers will stick around. I'm ABC7 Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez on 93.1 KISS FM. It's 7.05. That's your KISS News Update brought to you by UTEP Connect. There's more than one way to go to college. At UTEP, you can make your dreams a reality with UTEP Connect. Call 1-800-684-UTEP today to talk to an enrollment counselor and get started. UTEP Connect, connecting you to your dreams through higher education. I'm Patricia Martinez for 93.1 KISS FM. Thank God it's Friday. Freak out Friday. Yay! It's Friday! It's Friday. Dance party Friday. (laughs) Friday. 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 And now, Mike and Trisha Mornings on today's Best Mix, 93.1 KISS FM. Here's what's trending now. An El Paso one is what's trending now. His name is Luis Acaña, and turns out he's like a big John Mayer fan. Mm-hmm. Always has been. In high school, he was, uh, he was I guess, voted, would you call it voted, or what, how, how would you... Most likely to play with John Mayer, because he loved John Mayer that much. Right. And all of his schoolmates knew it, right? And I don't know if you know this, but a couple of days ago, Mayer was in Albuquerque. Yeah. Doing a concert. Dude found out, and he's like, I'm there. And and so he um, YouTubed his adventure. Right. And so here's a clip of, of him telling the story on YouTube. I got picked most likely to perform with John Mayer as my senior superlative in my yearbook and I decided to use one of John's lyrics as my senior yearbook quote. So when he announced his tour in 2017 and I saw that he was going up to Albuquerque, we went ahead and bought tickets. So he goes up to Albuquerque. (laughs) That's so cool. This is so cool. On the night of the show. We were at the concert and three or four songs into the set. So I pulled up my sign and put it up as high as I could. And as soon as I put it up, I saw that he was reading it. And then he pointed me out. He acknowledged me. And he was like, oh, we have uh, this girl over here with a sign that says, please sign my yearbook. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, Mayer assumed that it was a girl because of the lettering that was used oh. to make the poster. Well, come to find out the reason the lettering was this, what they call bubble lettering, very girlish, right. is because Luis's girlfriend is Did the it. one who wrote oh, it out. Okay. And she's the one who picked the lettering. <laughs> and so, yeah, it looked, you know, really girly. Right. That's why John <laughs> Mayer said, this girl wants me to sign the yearbook. <laughs> and so then... Then he started making jokes about the bubble handwriting and all that. And he was like, you look kind of old to be a high school graduate. And I was like, no, it's from back from 2013. And I raised up my yearbook. And he was like, oh, okay, you know what? I won't argue with you. Just bring it up and I'll sign it for you. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. That is so cool. And he did. But that wasn't the end of Luisa's fleeting meeting with fame. Before the show, I had been uh, tweeting him a lot. I had been like, hey, John. Um, I'm going over to Albuquerque to watch your show. Uh, please sign my yearbook. And I just tweeted him like four or five times, like, hey, please sign my yearbook. Then 
after the show was done, I took a picture of my yearbook after he had signed it, and I tweeted him again, and I was like, hey, John, thank you for signing my yearbook, and he tweeted back at me saying, like, oh, I get it now, I didn't understand, like, why the yearbook, I hadn't read the quote. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the quote, the photo was a picture of the yearbook with Luis back in 2013 when right. he graduated, and that, you know, most likely to perform with John Mayer part. Yeah. That's when John realized, oh, I That's get the whole why. thing now. Yeah. yeah. He just thought, a yearbook, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'll sign it. Because <laughs> earlier that night, he'd also signed a, he had also signed a, from what I read, he also signed a guitar. Oh, cool. Somebody somebody uh, had a guitar, and Mayer signed it. And then I understand he also tuned it for the guy. Oh, that's and so then, cool. Yeah, yeah, and then gave him the guitar back. So How fun. I know. That's pretty cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, those But are so neat. pretty cool for Luis, you know, yeah. to uh, to meet somebody that he holds in such high regard. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm jelly, because I love me the John Mayer. I know you do. I do. I, I really do. do. I love his music. I, I don't think he's given enough credit. Oh, I, I don't think so either. I, his, I really like his music, His too. guitar skills yeah. are superb. I don't think he gets enough credit because he's a pop star. Right, right. You know, but, oh, I'm so jealous of Luis. And see, in about, oh, 75 years on uh, Antiques Roadshow, yeah. his grandkid can say, yeah, my granddad, and he YouTubed it, and uh-huh. here's the here's the yearbook. And uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty it cool. It is neat, yeah. 717 Mike and Trisha mornings on 93.1 Kiss FM. Mesa Street Grill. Kiss FM. Yesterday, when we were talking about OJ Simpson's possible parole, mm-hmm. uh, you had mentioned that the way it was going to go down was, was, you know, he would state his case, and then at least four of the people that were going to make the decision right. had to decide to give him his parole, and that's how it went down. You're a low risk to reoffend on our guidelines. You have community support and stable release plans. Considering all of these factors, my vote is to grant your parole effective when eligible. And I concur with Commissioner Corda and grant parole. I concur with Commissioner uh, Corda and agree to grant parole. Mr. Simpson, I do vote to grant parole when eligible. And that will conclude this hearing. Thank you. So as early as October, as uh, many people in the media have been saying, the juice will be loose. <laughs> you know, and I also notice there's a lot of articles that are asking rhetorically, what's next for OJ? Right. What's next for OJ? Well, you may have noticed he's gone gray. Yeah. Yeah. So what's next for OJ? An endorsement deal. That's <laughs> what. Here, take a listen. Hey friends, Lovelock Correctional Center inmate number 1027820 here. And when I get out, I want to look my best. Prison ages you, man. So when some of the prisoners recommended that I try this, I said I'll take a stab at it. Hi, it's OJ for Just For Men. Just For Men has taken whatever scalp stubble I have left and has taken away the gray gradually. I've been growing old behind bars, but now I can look like I could run down the field for the score or even run down the hall of a cheap hotel with armed goons and bust into a room to steal my memorabilia again. (laughs) Just For Men. Remember, if you're starting to gray, you should try it today. So when folks say, hey, Juice, you're looking good, do you dye your hair? I can again say, I am 100% not guilty. (laughs) More from Mike. In KSII HD1 El Paso, I'm Trish Martinez with your KISS News update brought to you by the Angry Owl Grill. It's 75 degrees. Nicole Gomez will have your complete forecast after the news. But first, let's take a look at your KISS commute with Charlie One. We'll check the roadways, uh, Tricia, but first of all, Yarborough in Alameda, that's where we have the cement spill and we have the uh, the police department down there blocking off a lane or two, but you can get through there, just uh, one or two lanes blocked off there, Yarborough in Alameda, so caution there. We see um, checking the freeway, checking I-10, the uh, US-54 south at Diana, that's where we see some traffic building here at US-54 south and Diana. And this update brought to you by BMW, uh, summer heat has arrived. The deals at BMW of El Paso are hotter than ever. Don't waste your time haggling with the other guys. Let BMW of El Paso put you behind the wheel of your new dream machine today. 6318 Montana Avenue or visit BMWofElPaso.com. That's a look at your kids' commute. Charlie One. 
With construction on the downtown arena still on hold, the cost to build the facility continues to go out of control. City Rep, City, uh, City Rep Claudia Ordaz told News Channel 9 that construction costs are going up, labor costs are going up, so time is of the essence. According to Ordaz, inflation has gone up 5% since voters approved building the $180 million multipurpose arena, and that could mean an extra $9 million in costs. Ordaz said that the Fed just raised rates for the second time this year, so like when you go to borrow money and there's a higher interest rate, and that means you're going to pay more than you thought you were going to pay, same thing goes for government bonds. City officials previously said that they've already spent $15 million on studies and acquiring properties in the arena footprint. However, a spokesperson with the city was unable to provide a breakdown with exact costs because, you know, that's what you want to hear when you're building something. I can't possibly tell you how much we've been spending on what. If critics get what they want, which is another chance to take a second vote on the proposed arena's location, that will add an additional $144,000. That's according to the county elections administrator. Because if there's a special election, the city would have to spend, among other things, $30,000 on advertising and publishing the specifics of the issue. Now, with or without sports, Odas continues to say that the arena is still a good investment. Demolition on several properties in the Union Plaza District could start as early as August 1. City Council members will also get an update about the arena hearing in Austin during next Tuesday's meeting. And six teenage members of the Burundi robotics team were reported missing after competing in an international competition this week in Washington. Organizers of the competition say the teens may have self-initiated their disappearance. The, team's members, the team member's chaperone filed a missing person report after the teens could not be found at the conclusion of the international event on Tuesday evening. On Thursday, a statement from the event organizer, First Global, said the chaperone was caught off guard. First Global said the group may have self-initiated their disappearance because they said that the students had taken all of their clothes from the dorm where they had been staying. The missing team members include two 17-year-old girls and four males, ranging in age from 16 to 18. Two of the team member members have reportedly been seen crossing into Canada. It's 734. It is 75 degrees. Let's take a look at your KISS weather forecast with ABC 7 Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez. Good morning. A 30% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms remains in the forecast. This afternoon will be under partly cloudy skies with temperatures close to 90 degrees. Tonight will drop down to the 70s with a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms. And the rain chances will continue through the weekend and the start of the work week. I'm ABC 7 Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez on 93.1 KISS FM. It's 735. That's your KISS News Update brought to you by the Angry Owl Grill. Angry Owl Grill introduces Fiesta Friday. Each week enjoy live mariachis from 6 to 8 and drink specials from 5 to 9 only at the Angry Owl Grill, 4799 North Mesa. I'm Patricia Martinez for 93.1 KISS FM. And it will, we'll get back to that Rudolph commercial here in just a second. How long have we had this new system? <laughs> when am I going to learn? I don't know, but I haven't even attempted it. So. Oh, no. Yikes. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, you better hope they excuse me for jury duty next Monday. Oh, my God. It's uh -huh. already next Monday? Uh, coming Monday on the 31st. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. yeah. I need to start. I need to start looking at that. System. Oh, that should be interesting. Oh yeah, I need to take a transistor radio with me no, that morning. <laughs> no, you if don't. It happens. No. <laughs> do they still make those things? I don't know that they do. <laughs> <laughs> Google it, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and Trisha mornings on ninety three point one Kiss FM. Local story going viral about a an El Pasoan who uh, who was a big fan of John Mayer went to Mayer's concert in Albuquerque a couple of nights ago. Had Mayer stop the show like four songs in to sign his yearbook. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? That is cool. So two things. One, who's the most famous person you have an autograph of? Okay. 880 Two, on the Mike and Trisha Facebook page, who is the most famous person you are in a photograph with? Right. Picture or it didn't happen on the Mike and Trisha Facebook page. <coughs> God bless you. Sorry. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Okay, so on the Mike and Trisha Facebook page, our friend Ivan Ooze. You remember Ivan? He's I the remember. one that did my that did my um um Day of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, makeup. yeah, yeah. Um, he's got two of them. Sir Tim Rice. Um, he is the guy that wrote oh. the music for the Lion King and Beauty and the Beast and Evita and Aladdin and that's Jesus Christ that Superstar. Is? Yeah, I thought it was that funny guy who's on whose line is it anyway? I thought so too first, and then I read the <laughs> caption. Oh, I should read more captions. Yes. <laughs> 
Wow, and they're then, dead ringers for each other. I know, they totally are. Except um, Sir Sir Tim Rice is a little bit heavier, just a teeny bit, but he pretty much is spot on. Yeah. And then um, Ivan also has a picture of Debbie Gibson. Okay. All right, Ivan, now you're just showing up. I know. Ivan. Okay. <laughs> All right. Two. You've, you've hit your limit, man. <laughs> right? Stop bragging now. And then Norma has a picture with Little Joe of Little Joey La Familia. That's cool. Mike and Tricia Facebook page. Post a photo of the most famous person you're in a photograph with. On the radio at 880-9393, who's the most famous person you have an autograph of? We now return you to your regularly <laughs> scheduled Rudolph Auto Group commercial. Or not. There's a great reason, like more than 800 new vehicles. For and now, back to Mike and Trisha Mornings on 93.1 KISS FM. Hey, Karina. Hey, good morning. Okay, so there's this El Paso guy. He got John Mayer to sign his um, yearbook. And we're asking on the Mike and Trisha Facebook page to post up a picture of a famous person that you've met and you've got a picture of. Who do you have a picture of you with? I have one of Dweezil Zappa. Um, he was actually super hungover at the El Paso International Airport. So it's a great picture of him. He's hung. Oh, he was hung. Okay, now for people who don't know, Dweezil Zappa is Frank Zappa's uh-huh. kid. Right, right, yeah. And he was hung over? <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> That's why it's such a great picture because I'm super happy and bright eyed and bushy tailed. Uh-huh. He just looks so miserable. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you, do you always have to explain to people who this person is? I do. Yeah. I do. I, I find that not very many people are like, "Who's that?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's that's it's almost like uh, like the current editions of Dancing with the Stars. Right. Exactly. You yeah. Know. Very good. Yes. Absolutely. Frank I Zappa's <laughs> son. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> What's cool is my husband actually has one with he and um, through Carrie, and he was drunk. We oh. have this thing about. Finding people when they're in a drunken state. Yes. <laughs> what, was it the fat or the thin Drew Carey? It was a fat one. It okay. Was in Florida. Yeah that's, yeah, that's when Drew was fun. That was when he right? was fun, yeah. Right? Yeah, he now he's kind fun. of a stick in the mud. He is, yeah. Okay, I Karina, thanks, thanks for Karina. calling. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. let me clarify one thing. On the Mike and Trisha Facebook page, we want you to, to post your photo of you with your famous person. Right. On the radio, we want to know who you have an autograph of. Okay, I The most up. famous person you have an autograph of. But Sherry has a picture too, so hey, uh, Sherry. <laughs> you're not but paying attention. No one's paying attention to me. I also have the autograph too. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay, okay. Who's the person? Oops. Oh, we lost Dang her. It. <laughs> Just like that. She turned the bend around you, She did. <laughs> she totally which, did. Which Man. seems to be the dead zone around here. Oh, it absolutely is. Oh, my is. gosh. Okay. Well, who was it? Did she tell you? Um, The Rolling Stones. No. Way. All of them? All of them. All of them signed that's, a piece of paper? I guess so, because that's, that's what she told me. It's the picture of the Rolling Stones, so I'm guessing she's got the autographs of oh, them, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, no. Super cool, oh, that, Sherry. That is pretty cool. But dang it, we uh, lost you. Okay. 880-9393. It's all good, El Paso. Mike and Trisha Mornings. And today's best mix on 93.1 KISS FM. We, we don't have to worry about nothing. Cause we got the fire and we burn in one hell of a Something. They, they're gonna see us from outer space, outer space Light it up, like we're the stars of the human race, human race When the lights turn it down, they don't know what they heard Shine the marsh, play it loud, giving love to the world We'll be raising our hands, shining up Gonna let it burn
listening to Mike and Trisha. Is it morning already? 93.1 KISS FM. All right, this is El Paso one Luis Ocaña, who uh, got John Mayer's autograph the other day in Albuquerque. Yep. Mayer was in town, and Ocaña's a big fan, got him to sign the yearbook. <laughs> Uh, here's what he had to say on on a video that he posted on YouTube. And then he started making jokes about the bubble handwriting and all that. And he was like, you look kind of old to be a high school graduate. And I was like, no, it's from back in 2013. <laughs> and I raised up my yearbook. And he was like, oh, okay, you know what? I won't argue with you. Just bring it up and I'll sign it for you. <laughs> but now he has a yearbook with a photo of himself mm-hmm. voted most likely to perform with John Mayer. Signed by John Mayer. That's so cool. Hey, Claudia, who is the most famous person you have an autograph of? I have an autograph of Fluffy. Of Fluffy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. When his first time in El Paso at the comic strip, mm-hmm. the, I think the new dollar bill, the $20 bill had come out, barely. Uh-huh. And I had a twenty dollar bill, and I said, "Hey, can you sign this for me?" And he's like, "Are you sure? It's a twenty dollars." <laughs> I'm like, "Yes, definitely." Oh, that I is so cool. That's back when he used to wear the Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And back when he used to, you know, come visit us. I know, right? Yeah. Back yeah. before he thought he was, yeah. you know. Yeah, but now that he's like, aye, aye, <laughs> he, do- right. he doesn't even yell boo our way. No, he does not. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Claudia. Claudia. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> On the Mike and Trisha Facebook page, we want to see the photo of you and a celebrity. Right. The most famous celebrity that you're in a photo with. Hey, Sergio, who's the most famous person you have an autograph of? I have an autograph with Thalia. Oh, Thalia. Yes. Mm, she's who's, gorgeous. Who's Thalia? She's a Mexican actress and singer who's now married to Tommy Motola. Yeah. Oh, her. Yeah, That's I didn't right. know if they were still married, but yeah, she's yeah. the one that married him after Mariah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. After Mariah left him. And remember, she was supposed to be the next big thing. Yeah. I mean, he worked yeah. really long and hard to make her that, but she never right. really hit it in, which in is, the States. Which is why we didn't know they were still married. Yeah. We thought after he couldn't make it happen, <laughs> she was like, pos adios. <laughs> <laughs> so how did, you get the, how did you get the autograph? So I'm a hairstylist, and one of my clients um, said that she had some tickets for me to go see her concert, and she also, the tickets included a meet and greet, and when we were in the back and in, in the meet and greet, there was like 30 of us, and she, it was just kind of like real easy, you know, like assembly line, she was just yeah. signing people's um, yeah. posters, and but when I got there, I had my whole spiel, you know, that I was going to tell her how much I loved her and how much <laughs> I had been a fan of her since I was little, you know, and all this and that. And she, um, when I got there, she just like paused and she came around the table because she was on the table with her guards and you couldn't really like hug her, but she was beautiful in person. Mm -hmm. And so I was starstruck and when, and when she came around and she was like, Oh my God, me fascina tu look. Que padre tu cabello. Que linda tu look. I mean, all these things. And I was just like, what? <laughs> you know, like, I couldn't even, yeah. I, I didn't even think of my whole spiel that I was going to yeah. give her. It's know? like, it's like the roles reversed themselves, right? huh? <laughs> yeah. And she was like having me turn around because she wanted to look at me. And I was uh-huh. like, what the heck well, is going on here? <laughs> Sergio, oh, now so cool. I'm curious about your look. Your look. <laughs> yeah, that was what was, what was so cute. Or said, did she think your name look? was Luke? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you misunderstood. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, Sergio, so hold on for me because I'm dying to know where you work. So hold on, okay? Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, By the good. way, <laughs> so your client gave you the tickets? She couldn't pay you or what? <laughs> she what? She couldn't pay you and so she gave you, she gave you her tickets? No, she paid me and gave me the tickets. Nice. Oh, Oops, wow. you okay. must well, be now, really good. I really got to see his look now. <laughs> <I> know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling, Sergio. It's the things that you least expect that hit you the hardest. This is why at Sun City Emergency Room, we are ready for the unexpected. Open 24 hours with highly trained and experienced physicians and nurses to make sure you receive the quality service you deserve. We have lab facility and pharmacy on site. We are the only private emergency room that takes all private insurance plans. You will feel better as soon as you walk in. Sun City Emergency Room. We have two locations easy to access on the east side corner of Joe Battle in Edgemere and on the west side, I-10 and Red Road. Sarah Farms wants to remind you that when it comes to fresh quality milk, being local matters. One sip of Sarah Farms milk and you'll know it's just better. And that same freshness of Sarah Farms milk is now available in most local grocery stores throughout the borderland. If you don't see it, ask for us by name. Sarah Farms is dedicated to delivering the freshest, high quality milk in town. So the next time you buy milk, think local and think fresh. 
Think Sarah Farms Milk, your hometown hero. Visit us at sarahfarmsep.com. Hey you, you should go get a foot-long sweet onion chicken teriyaki from Subway or a foot-long Subway club. Why, you ask? First, because they're delicious. Second, because they're six bucks each. And finally, because this radio ad told you to. Go on. Get a sweet onion chicken teriyaki or Subway club, just six bucks each. Subway, so much sandwich. Limited time only at participating restaurants. Additional charge for extras, plus applicable tax. Prices higher in Alaska and Hawaii. No additional discounts or coupons may be applied. It's Christmas in July at Charlie Clark Nissan. Don't pay anything until Christmas. Zero money down on all Nissan, zero payments, and zero interest. We even pay your oil changes for two years. Charlie Clark Nissan, the number one century dealer in the United States of America seven years in a row. Don't pay anything until Christmas. Nothing. Nada. Not even oil changes for two years. It's Christmas in July at Charlie Clark Nissan. Shop now at Charlie. This one goes out to all the moms and dads who are wondering where to go for the best, most complete health care for their Good morning. It's 7.59 at KSII and KSII HD1 El Paso. I'm Patricia Martinez with your KISS News Update. It's 75 degrees. Nicole Gomez will have your complete forecast after the news. But first, let's take a look at your KISS commute with Charlie One. Quite a few total spots that we have right now. First, we'll start in the valley where we have Yarbrough before Alameda. We have on the northbound lanes that uh, cements build blocking the left lane. PD there, you can use the right lane there. Let's go to northeast. Dyer at Fred Wilson. Here we have an injury crash. That just happened. Dyer and Fred Wilson, fire department PD going out there. Also in northeast Alabama and Waco Way. We have a crash here that's Alabama and Waco Way. Let's go to um, the west side. On the west side, we have Wrestler and Helen of Troy. Injury crash, PD headed out there along with the fire department. Wrestler in Helen of Troy. Let's go to Horizon. In Horizon, Horizon at Bodoin, we have a crash. Gateway East and East Lake, we have traffic turning. Uh, those traffic, um, the traffic lights are turning green all at the same time. That's Gateway East and East Lake, so big hazard right there in the Horizon area. This update brought to you by, yeah. All the lights are turning green at once? Yeah, at the same time, at Gateway East and East Lake, so that's oh, a big man. Oh, man. That's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, gosh. That's, that's not good. So use caution in that in that area. you got to slow down there and just... Um, wow. How do you make that happen? I would love to know how you make know. that happen. Well, I know how that happens, actually. Is it a Brio bus? No. What happened is, is um, Elizabeth Hurley is the devil, uh-huh. and she does that. <laughs> That's part of the. That's part of that movie yes. from a long time yeah. ago. Vague movie reference. <laughs> Google it, kids. But she did it. Okay, go ahead, Charlie. He's done. Oh, is he? Oh, okay, yeah. I thought he had to do his his what you call it. Okay, if you're like a lot of uh, past wins and don't pay your tickets, the whole city's going to find out about him this weekend. Because on Sunday, the El Paso Times is going to print the names and addresses of 5,600 people who have active warrants. Now, those warrants are for things like misdemeanors to felonies for crimes like DUI, family violence, thefts, burglaries, and robberies. And El Paso Sheriff uh, Richard Wiles says it's important that people be held accountable for their behavior here in our county. The Times does the list in conjunction with the Sheriff's Office and the DA's Office. And if you want to pay your fines, you can either go to the satellite booking office in the county courthouse downtown. That's in the lower level of the courthouse in room 110. Or you can call them at 546-2121. Mike is working on a blog with all that information. And White House aide Kellyanne Conway says it's only fair to expose any potential conflicts of interest of the investigators who are helping Robert Mueller examine examine Russia's interference in the 2016 election and possible ties to the Trump campaign. Conway told Fox News' Fox and Friends that members of Mueller's team have contributed to Democrats Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama in the past. She says it's relevant to know who know people it's relevant that people know what the motivations are. It's not an attack on the team. It's what's fair is fair. Of course, Trump donated to Hillary as well, so I wonder if she's going to talk about that too. <laughs> this comes as oh, Mueller's... Yeah. Hmm? I doubt it. Yeah. This comes as Mueller's probe into Russia's election meddling appears to likely include some of Trump family's business ties. On Friday, Conway said that Americans are interested in the financial details of Mueller's staff. She said, let's at least have the transparency and accountability speak for itself. Okay, then tell us that Donald Trump has also donated to Hillary in the past. Right. You know, I mean, at least acknowledge it. Right. 
You know, if you want, if you're going to acknowledge it, well, then let's acknowledge everybody. Exactly. You know, and that whole transparency thing that goes for all of your dealings with Russia. Yeah, and it also goes for your um, for your uh, taxes. Sure. Yeah. Release your taxes. You yeah. want to be transparent about everybody's financial dealings? Okie dokie. Here we go. Here's that, your chance. You know, but that that's been the mo for this administration from the time it took over. Yeah. You know, you you are, have to. You need to be transparent. Anybody yeah. who's against me, right? You know. First of all, you're a liar. Mm -hmm. You need to be more transparent. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't go for me. Right, right. Ah. I know. I know. (laughs) I was really hoping, man. I know. I was really hoping. You know, he had some good ideas. I was really hoping. The weekend after he was elected, I had some friends over at the house, and they were just, you know, just livid that the guy had got had gotten elected. And I was like, let's give him a chance. You never know. Right. Maybe if he's going to get into the office. He's going to understand the weight of what he's of what he's got in front of him. It the whole thing's going to turn around yeah. and he's going to change. Yeah. I was willing to give him a chance. Sure, sure. And nope. Nope, nothing. It's 804. It is 75 degrees. He hasn't even kept any of his promises. No, dude, he's the, not. The only the only promise that he's kept that he made on the campaign trail was pulling out of the Paris climate agreement. That's it. That's all he can point to. It's 804. That's your uh, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at your Kiss Weather forecast with ABC7 Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez. Good morning. Happy Friday. 30% chance for scattered showers remains in the forecast this afternoon with a high around 89 degrees. Tonight will drop down to 72 and we'll keep those rain chances in the forecast at 30%. Looks like the rain will stick around through the weekend with heavier storms possible Sunday afternoon and throughout the evening. I'm ABC7 Storm Tracker Nicole Gomez on 93.1 KISS FM. It's 8.05. That's your KISS News update. Brought. I'm sorry. Brought. In, that's your KISS okay. News update. Okay. Um, Om money padne om. Okay. It's 8.05. That's your Kiss News update. I'm Patricia Martinez for 93.1 Kiss FM. I took a pill. Hundreds of newscasters <laughs> across America said well, the juice is almost loose. The juice will be set to loose. The juice will soon be on the loose. The juice will be loose. The juice will be loose. The juice is 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 loose. And and in case you didn't grab that, the juice is loose. The juice is loose, or at least he will be in October. So people are given uh, local TV stations a bit of grief about this because a couple of them posted polls about, do you think O.J. Simpson should have been released? And people are going, he's already been gotten the parole. <laughs> I mean, why are we talking about this now? Yeah. So, yeah, there was a whole lot of, okay, guys, right, whatever. Right. Do- you know. In, in, in case you're worried about O.J., mm-hmm. you know, how is this guy going to make a well, living? Yeah. yeah. No, no need to worry. Okay. Yeah, he's got like a pension because, you know, when he retired from the NFL, they're, they're saying, estimated that he's got like 25 grand a month coming to oh, him. Pff, well, nice. So, yeah, there, there's no need to worry, okay? And I'm sure he'll be doing a whole lot of autograph shows in the near future. Although he still has a judgment against him. From the Goldman family. Yeah, I'm not sure that he can keep a lot of that money. Sure. I, you know, I saw I saw an interview with uh, with the uh, Goldman's lawyer the other day, briefly, uh-huh. and he said something like, "Yeah, but we have to know about them, and then we have to be there to take the cash away from him because oh. those things pay you cash there." Right, right. You know, right. And so, you know, you you. Really, so they'd have to chase him around. Yeah, you really don't know where because uh, these autograph shows happen everywhere. Oh yeah, all over the country. Oh yeah, and so you would kind of have to have somebody twenty four seven, you know, Looking keeping an eye on, oh, on these kind of things. So oh, yeah, wow, yeah. that's crazy. Um, people are are pre dragging. Dragging is what the kids call when they when they're like giving people a hard time. Um, people are pre-dragging David Blaine because they're like, I wonder how late he's going to be for his show. Because, you know, everybody's still kind of smarting a little bit about Journey being so late to their show. Right, right. So, yeah, people are online going, you know, I, I can't wait to see the social media posts about waiting for David Blaine. Yeah. You yeah. know, so. That that's... would be funny, right, if he did that? Oh, man. No, that would not be funny. It would. It would. And because then, because he can always say that it's his new magic act. <laughs> Oh my God! No. I was always there. <laughs> I'm just that good. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, two hours later, he steps out from behind a plant. Right? Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Good Ta-da! <laughs> Thank you. Good night, everyone. <laughs>
<laughs> and of course, people are talking about the John Mayer autograph yeah. on an El Pasoans yearbook. John Mayer was playing a show in Albuquerque this past weekend, and um, he had this guy had the sign up that said, "John Mayer, will you sign my my yearbook?" And he was like, "Sure, yeah, no problem." He didn't really know why he was asked, asked being asked to sign his yearbook, but he's like, "Okay." So then the guy tweeted why he wanted him to sign the art, the, the the yearbook. Yeah. It's because he loves John Mayer. He plays a lot of his songs himself. In his high school yearbook, he used John Mayer's lyric. Yeah, there was a quote. A lyric as a quote, right. as, his, as his senior quote. Yeah, because he was named most likely to perform with John Mayer. Right. And so John Mayer read that tweet, and he's like, ah, no. it all makes sense. Right, right. Yeah, so everybody's talking about that, too. <laughs> all right, those are the three things you need to know, three things people are talking about. Mike and Tricia Mornings on 93.1 KISS FM, which brings us back to who's the most famous person you have an autograph of. 880-9393. Since 1977, the original Great American Land and Cattle Company has been offering the best views of the city and serving up the area's best steaks of Mike and Tricia. Good morning, boys and girls. 93.1 KISS FM. Scrolling through the Mike and Tricia Facebook page, we asked people who the most famous person they've been photographed with is. Yeah. And then we're like, okay, picture in the comment section or it didn't happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, that's what kids say. Picture or it didn't happen, right? right? right. So I'm scrolling through. Did you see the really, really young Ben Affleck? Yes, with Rena. Oh, my gosh. Friend of the show, Rena. And a really, really young Rena, too. She's adorable. Wow, man. (laughs) I can't believe Ben was that young before. I know. That is crazy. Dang, let's see here. Oh, Alan, friend of the show. Speaking of Alan, yeah. the uh, you know part-time Ghostbuster, Mike and Trisha, he Aww. writes, I, Alan. That's yeah, so sweet. sad. <laughs> that is so sad, Alan. No, it's sweet. It's sweet, but and sad. sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lupe has one of my one of my f- favorites, George Takei Takei. Oh, Takei, yeah? Takei. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I am Mr. the man Sulu. of a thousand voices. Yep, Mr. Sulu from oh Star Trek. Oh, my. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's my George Sulu. You're oh, my. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my God. We got it. <laughs> Who is David Tennant? David Tennant is one of the Doctor Who's Who? from BBC. It's a, it's a series called Doctor Who. Who? And it's a it's a time traveler uh-huh. who's like a like a crime crime stopper, crime solver. Uh-huh. And they have a bunch of different ones. The show has been on the air for like 40 oh, years. Is that why I read and it seemed to be like a really big deal the it's other a day? Huge deal. Uh that the first female Doctor Who it, they they sent the geek yes. verse yes. the geek verse into like just the, conniptions. The who's were like, what? Uh, you know, they totally and then they were. were like, when? I know, yeah. So, yeah, no, it's huge because there's been like 40 years of Doctor Doctor Who's. No way. And only, I think there's only been like five of them. Huh. And I think David Tennant was like the, the, the probably the, the most popular one. He's the one that most people know. Well, he's dreamy. He is dreamy. And um, so, yeah, the new, the new female one, oh my God, they just went crazy. Hey, there's one uh, that Sean posted up of him with Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah. I, I bet you that's when he was doing that, you know, his Broadway show or whatever you want to call it, his uh-huh. stage show, his uh-huh. one man show. That's when cool. he was here in El Paso. Yeah, I, I love. I love when we do things like this because it's so interesting to see who people regard as famous. As famous, right, exactly. Um, Rosita's got Steve-O. I hope she took a shower after that. Oh, wow. Ew. Man, look at you. He's just gross, dude. Hey, look, uh, here's a shot that uh, from back in the day. Uh, Ariel posted of the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure this is this is our meet and greet. Let's see here. Well, I, I could be wrong, but it sure looks like, because remember when they came to El Paso uh-huh. and we did a meet and greet up there at the Abraham Chavez Theater yeah. where 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 we do the uh, street festival mm-hmm, stuff. Mm-hmm. And I remember because we were, you know, we I think there's a, we took a photo with the Jonas we Brothers. We did, yeah. I believe. And I wonder if that's that where that photo is from. It, it looks about the right uh, age. Yeah, it does. It does. I, look, <laughs> I love the t-shirt. I love Nick. When you, what does it say? It looks like when you sock me in the eyes. <laughs> that, what? that can't be it. <laughs> no, it can't. When you... It looks like sock me in the eyes. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no. I... That's just wrong. I hope that's not it. <laughs> 
There's a whole lot of wrong in that picture. <laughs> the other two Jonas brothers are gone. Because <laughs> they both seem to love Nick. I know, yeah. Both of the shirts are about Nick. Yeah. And then, you know what else is really wrong? Um, the brother on the right with that really bad bandana. Around oh, his, right. It's like, dude, right. lose See, the bandana, man. Here, here's what I mean about how interesting it is. Here's a photo that DM posted up, and it reads, Artem and Keo from Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> No, not Artem and Keo. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Artem and Keo's assistant. <laughs> oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and then Annie, she posted um, Steven Seagal and Fam Thanksgiving 2002. Oh, cool. 2012, rather. Cool. Yeah. Well, hit us up with your photos on the Mike and Trisha Facebook page of you with the most famous person you've ever taken a photograph with, so we can make fun of you, too. You know, we sound like we're opening Christmas presents. We we're do, like, don't we? Look, look how good. <laughs> <laughs> Two weirdos. Artem and Keo. <laughs> thanks. Oh, thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Mike and Trisha on 93.1 KISS FM. On the phone at 880-9393, tell us who the most famous person you have an autograph of is. It's the one KISS FM. Hey, Laura. Hey, Trish. Okay, so, no, no, well, we're going to find out who you have a, an autograph of. What famous person? I have one of Gloria Stefan. I have one of Bill Clinton. And Vicky Carr. Vicky Carr. Wow. What? Bill Clinton was with Vicky yes. Carr. <laughs> yes. Wow. And I have a picture of me with Antonio Banderas in New York. But when I got in my car and I turned on the radio, I heard what you were saying yeah. and what you were asking for. But I'm already on the road, so I had to stop to talk to you and <laughs> go back home and. And send a picture of my picture. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe later when you get home, because I, I want to see, I want to see Puss and Butts. <laughs> yes, yes. What? I I definitely will, will put it on the, yes, I'll send that it That is so you. cool. Hey, how did you, uh, how did you end up with the uh, Bill Clinton autograph? Uh, gosh, uh, God, like 15 years ago, I guess, my, my cousin and I went to Washington, and we got a tour of the White House, <sighs> and I left him a gift. And back then, and it was longer than 15 years, uh -huh. uh, um, I used to go to the Mercado in Juarez, and you know how they used to have the velvet pictures? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I took a guy, the guy that made the pictures, I took him a picture of the White House, and I asked him to make me a picture. And he did, and that's what I took him. Oh, you gave him a velvet picture of the White yes. House? That's oh, cool. cool. Nobody's ever going to give him that, right? No, right, exactly. Really, right. Okay, but yeah. I'm, t I'm so jealous that you got to meet Vicky Carr. Oh, well, let me tell you, I got to travel with her because I used to, uh, I used to work at AT&T, and we were rolling up, up out a program called Lifeline, and it was to give uh, low-income customers a break on their phone service. So I got to travel with her to San Antonio, and I got to travel with Alex Rodriguez. No. Uh -huh. I never, I got a, a baseball from him. Uh -huh. I never got his autograph because I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> and now here he is dating uh -huh. J-Lo. Uh -huh. And yeah. then uh, I He was just some to... guy handing out baseballs. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was traveling with him and his wife and his baby at the time. Uh -huh. And then I went to a Gloria Stefan concert. And I took her a dozen yellow roses, and I put them on the stage, and she picked them up and said, thank you. And in there, I put a card, and I said, I love you. I love your music. You're so awesome. Can you please send me an autograph picture? And she did. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. She did. That is yeah. so cool. Is so this, I take uh, pictures of those two and send them to you. Was this before or after her coming out of the dark phase? You know what? It was. I remember her in that concert right after she had that uh, she had that yeah, the accident. Bus accident. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I think it was before. Okay. I, I th I'm thinking it was before because yeah. she came out in that black skin tight costume, and we were like, "Oh my gosh!" And she had back surgery. Yeah. So uh -huh. I, I think it was before. And yeah. she's yeah. like teeny tiny. Yeah, she is. She's oh, like a little yeah. garden gnome. Yeah. She's teeny. Yeah, she's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. So cute. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's that's how you smuggle Cubans out of Cuba. <laughs> There you go. Oh, the teeny tiny little. ones. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Uh, thank you. Welcome. Y'all have a blessed day. You Bye. too. Bye, Laura. <laughs> oh, my God. It's President Clinton. <laughs>
Uh, let's see who's next. This is Erica. Hi, Erica. We're looking for the most famous person you have an autograph of. I have one of Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. himself. Yeah. I love Alan Rickman. Who's Alan Rickman? Yes, the late Alan Rickman, unfortunately. Yes. He, oh. was, he was the guy who was the villain in the original Die Hard movie. Oh. He was Professor Snape, wasn't he? Right. Yes, he in was. in the Harry Potter movies. Yeah. Um He was quite the villain in that Die Hard movie. Yeah, he was. He was in a movie with um with uh God, what's her name from Titanic? Um um I can't think Kate of Kate Winslet. Name. Kate Winslet, Sense, Sense and Sensibility. Sense and Sensibility, yes. That's I one of my love, favorite films. Yeah. Oh, I how loved did you him how did you get movie. this autograph with this guy? I, I stalked him, so anybody <laughs> listening right now knows that this is me. I, I, I have an obsession with him. I had one. And I flew out to New York, and I know he does Broadway. And so after Broadway, they all come out and sign your playbill. And that's when he just comes out, you know, bigger than life, larger than life, and he signs your autograph, and he's such a sweet old man. Oh, <laughs> cool. And that was your one reason for flying to New York? Absolutely. I did. I flew in um, the night before, went out to um, the play in, in Brooklyn, uh-huh. um, waited afterwards, and flew out the next day, but it was all because uh-huh. I've got front row tickets to the play he was in. Wow. I actually met him uh, several times, but that, it was all in that course of going out to see him in a play and then coming back and uh, behind stage and meeting him. Cool. That's an odd uh, celebrity obsession no, to have. No, no. If you've ever no, seen that movie, Sense not, and Sensibility. No. Oh. is amazing. Yes. And, and the really sad part is I had like all these dirty thoughts about him, and <laughs> he was the sweetest person ever. I felt terrible. Well, okay, um, Erica. <laughs> now, I, I have to admit, I'm laughing because I've had those same dirty yeah. thoughts. You know what I'm talking about. I hear you, girl. Me, so. I'm right there with you, man. Yeah, um, so. Did you also see that movie that he was in where he played the, the voice of God? It was uh, Dogma. Yes, of course. Yes, the Metatron. He played the Metatron. He did. I've seen every movie of his, even the ones he directed, even the cartoons. I think Eric um, is my new best friend. Yeah. Yes, Chris. <laughs> because I have... You, I, time. you know, when he when he passed away, yeah. I was devastated. Were you? Absolutely. I really was. Because I was like, oh, you got to be kidding. He's amazeballs. Yeah. Uh, yes. I had some friends call me from England to tell me the news at five in the morning. Oh. And I was <laughs> absolutely devastated. But You're like, I'm going to have to take the day off. <laughs> yeah, I think I got more condolences on Facebook than his wife. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, yeah. it's only but, right, yeah. man. You're you're a super fan. Okay. It's only right that people yes. acknowledge that. Eric, I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm glad you've gone to therapy and you're taking your medication now. Well, I don't know about that, but okay. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Erica. Thanks, Erica. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day, guys. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and the reason we got into this is because uh, on YouTube uh, there's a video that's trending. It's an El Paso, and his name is Luis Ocaña, who big John Mayer fan when he was in high school. Well, look, I'll let him tell you the story. I got picked most likely to perform with John Mayer as my senior superlative uh, in my yearbook, and I decided to use one of John's lyrics as my senior yearbook quote. So when he announced his tour in 2017 and I saw that he was going up to Albuquerque, we went ahead and bought tickets. And so he goes to the show and then on the night of the show... We were at the concert and three or four songs into the set. So I pulled up my sign and put it up as high as I could. And as soon as I put it up, I saw that he was reading it. And then he pointed me out, he acknowledged me, and he was like, oh, we have uh, this girl over here with a sign that says, please sign my yearbook. <laughs> he, <laughs> John thought it was a girl, or just assumed it was a girl. Right, right. Because of the lettering of the poster. Come to find out, it's because Luis let his girlfriend do the lettering. So his girlfriend, you know, <laughs> got all girly with well, it. Well, yeah, that's and what so we do. John just assumed that a girl wanted him to sign the yearbook. <laughs> and so and so, so then what happened? Then he started making jokes about the bubble handwriting and all that. And he was like, you look kind of old to be a high school graduate. And I was like, no, it's from back from 2013. And I raised up my yearbook. And he was like... Oh, okay, you know what? I won't argue with you. Just bring it up and I'll sign it for you. And that's why we're asking <laughs> who the most famous person you have an autograph of is.
It's time to save big during the mid-year massive summer sale at the number one Buick GMC dealership in the borderland. Shamali Buick GMC. Right now, take 25% off the MSRP on a new 2017 GMC Sierra 1500 or 17% off the MSRP on a new 2017 Buick Envision. We're number one for three reasons. Price, selection, and repeat business. I-10 and Sunland Park Drive. GMC, we are professional grade. Shamali Buick GMC. Shamali Buick GMC.com. See the website for details. Make your next event a royal affair. From themed characters to event staffing, let a royal affair host your event. Call them today to reserve your favorite princess or superhero. Call 915-345-3067 for details or visit us on Facebook at Royal Affair Events. El Paso's first Top Model Academy is now accepting registrations. They offer weekly classes, workshops, image consultation, and personal coaching in modeling, pageantry, stage, and media presence. They embrace your attitude and enhance your style. Call them today at 915-345-3067 and evolve at Top Model Academy. At UTEP, they understand that sometimes life gets in the way of your plans. So UTEP is bringing their degrees to you, wherever you are. UTEP Connect is UTEP's suite of 100% online degrees and certificate programs. Their goal is to provide you with access to an affordable, excellent education, no matter where you are or what you do. Whether you're working full-time or in the military or have family obligations that keep you off campus, an online degree from UTEP will give you the quality education you expect with the flexibility and convenience you need. You can access your courses 24-7 and enjoy interacting with your professors and classmates just like you would in a face-to-face program. UTEP also promises that as their online student, you will always have access to a real person who can answer your questions. Call them at 1-800-684-UTEP today. That's 1-800-684-8837. UTEP Connect. Convenient. Flexible. Excellent. BMW of El Paso's under construction event is going on now. We're building a new facility to serve our customers like 0.9% APR on all 2013, 2014, and 2015 BMW CP3 series for 60 months. Plus our exclusive El Paso Edge delivers no cost maintenance, complimentary loaner cars, and car washes for life. 6318 Montana Avenue, BMW of El Paso.com, 778-9381. With approved credit, 1705 per 1000 financed. Offer ends 831-17. Now hiring. Great opportunity, competitive wage, and full benefit package. Universal Pressure Pumping is a growing oil field services company looking for sand truck drivers, mechanics, engineers, technicians, and equipment operators for their facility in Midland, Texas. Come to their hiring event July 25th and 26th from 8 until 5, July 27th till noon at the El Paso Marriott 1600 Airway. You must be 21 or older, have a valid driver's license, and safe driving record. Get pumped, get hired. Be there July 25th through 27th. This week, it's the season finale. West Star Bank presents Cool Canyon Nights. The last free concert of the season is this Thursday night inside the McKelligan Canyon Amphitheater. Brown Betty takes the main stage at 7. Locomotion gets the party started at 6 on the Benbridge Jeweler Patio Stage. This week's featured beer, Miller Lite. Cool Canyon Nights. Last week. From West Star Bank. The original Great American on Alabama. The P.I. Miller Beer. Price's Creamery. El Paso Live. And 93.1 Kiss FM. Learn more at CoolCanyonNights.com. Let's see. Today's lineup at 10. Huh? Meet with West Star Bank Treasury Management. I can't wait to set up our salespeople to take mobile payments in the field instead of waiting to bring them in at the end of the day. With that level of efficiency, I wonder what else West Star Bank could help me with. Learn more about what we offer at WestStarBank.com or call us at 532-1000. West Star Bank. It's more than banks. It's all good, El Paso. Mike and Trisha Mornings. And today's best mix on 93.1 KISS FM. I've been reading books of old, the legends and the myths. Achilles and his gold, Achilles and his gifts. Spider-Man's control, and Batman with his fist. And clearly I don't see myself upon that list But she said, where'd you wanna go? How much you wanna risk? I'm not looking for some <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Uh-oh, I hear that music You know what that means Oh my, well we're not talking about the ballpark And we're not talking about San Jacinto mm. 
But it is downtown. The arena. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yesterday, one of the TV stations kind of uh, followed our lead from a conversation we had. Right. Uh, the day after the ruling was made, which is like, okay, so $180 million we said okay to. Right. News is, word is, they've already spent $15 million Well, yeah. Buying property and doing other things, mm-hmm. conducting studies. studies. So, all right, so... We did the math, and we were like, all right, so that leaves us $165 million. Mm-hmm. Who knows how much the lawyers are costing them? Oh, yeah. You know, to, for this fight that, that uh, went down in Austin. And and it's y- still going to go on because there's another hearing on Tuesday. Yes, August the 1st. Yeah, right? and I hate to tell you this, but those kind of those kind of attorneys, they charge like $600 an hour. And and so the TV station spoke with, uh, with uh, city rep Claudia Ordaz, right? Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, you know what? And we know this, the longer it takes you to build something, costs skyrocket. Right. Right. And so she's on record saying, well, it could be, like, let's say, let's say uh, everything moves forward. Mm-hmm. Right. We don't have to, we don't have to, it doesn't go back to the voters or any of that kind of stuff. Right. right? It just, they're just going to move forward with it. Nine million more, she says, it's going to cost. Yeah. Right. But here's the thing, though, that they didn't ask. The TV station didn't ask. And the thing that I would like to have an answer for okay. would be, all right, so we're down to like $165 million. Right. Let's just, just go with $165 million. And so we started with $180 million. She said She thinks maybe $9 million more if we start almost immediately. Right. Right. So let's go round it up to $190 million. Okay. Right? So that's a difference of $25 million. Mm-hmm. So where's this $25 million coming from? Well, are they dipping into the general fund again? No, I would imagine they're going to be certificates of obligation. What are they going to do? Because we, we were promised a $180 million stadium, but they've already spent $15 million of that. Right, exactly. And see, that's the problem. If they, if they decide to hold the line and say, okay, whatever we have in our bank account, that's what we're spending, then we're going to get a much reduced yeah. arena. yeah. Um, but then you have Mayor D. Margo going, well, you know, if, we, if we're going to do this, we might as well do it the right way. Sure, sure, yeah. Well, so that kind of tells me, okay, well, maybe uh-huh. they're going to issue certificates of obligation. And so let's say this thing, this fight continues. Uh-huh. And next thing you know, we're down to $160 million Because right. we got to pay lawyers, and right. then we got to do this, we got to do that. So then $30 more million dollars is going to come out of our pockets. Mm-hmm. It's going to have to come from somewhere. Mm-hmm. They're all, they've are all already spent this much. Yes. And that was the question that the te- television station didn't ask right where's the money coming from yeah how are you going to make up the difference it's gonna it's i guarantee it will be certificates of obligation that's the question to ask yep general fund certificates of obligation we're already up to our ears in those Mm -hmm, things mm -hmm. general fund we're still dipping in every year to pay the for the stadium we built for the chihuahuas right every year for the last four years that's been coming out of the general fund Mm -hmm. so that's the question that's the next question. That's the question yeah. that needs to be asked. No, I agree 100%. You know, it does need to be asked. You did the math. We already did that the other day. Find out how they're going to make up the difference. Right. That's all from what they've already spent. Right. And the other thing is is that we really do have to look at because I think that I think that the Duranguito people are going to force a vote. I think they're going to force another vote. And that's $144,000. Yeah. Just to do that. And um, I mean, it sounds like when you're talking about 180 million, you're like, well, 144,000. What's the big deal? Well, it is a big deal. Yeah, it all adds up. Because what it does is, we would have to figure out what, when the ballot could be put on. Would it be put on in November? Would it be wait? Have to wait till next spring? Yeah. Which, of course, you know, more time. Yeah. Less, you know, right. less bang for your buck. <laughs> well, look what happened with the sports complex. Yes. What, do, what was it the other week we found out? Like thirty million or something more because it took so long. Because it took so long to go from beginning to having it finally built. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is just this is horrible. It is horrible. What a mess we've gotten into. Yep. Well, see, I think the next time that they're writing this kind of ballot measure, I would love to see a city rep say, "We need to put in that ballot measure that." It has to be. It has to only be this amount of money, like no certificates of obligation, right, no right. you know, yes. no general fund, no nothing. Yes. It has to be whatever this is. It is. And meanwhile, <clears throat> no Six Flags. And no Six Flags. <laughs> Eight fifty-five. And no Schlitterbahn. <laughs> Morning, Patricia. Mornings on ninety-three point one Kiss FM. Money.